This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Hello, welcome to another day in the life video. It has been a really hectic time recently, but today I have a day off. I don't, I don't have anything pressing that I need to do today. And so I'm really excited to have just like a fun, calm, kind of a reset day where I just do things that are <laughs> not terribly busy and not me doing heaps and heaps of work. Oh my goodness, the sun is coming out. I'm gonna start by doing my makeup because we're gonna head out and go book shopping today, which I'm excited for. Okay, I'm gonna start by doing foundation. I'm not sure if people are interested in <laughs> makeup content from me, but I can list the things that I'm using in the description in case anyone's interested. Eyebrow gel. I don't think this does anything. Like it's not even strong enough to change the direction of my eyebrows. I don't know why I add it. I just, I started doing it and now I keep doing it. I've been working on Project Teacup and it's been quite a busy time. Draft three is now done. I have finished it. I put it to rest. I'm not going to look at it for a little while. And very, very soon we're going to be going on a trip to Japan, which is going to be a work trip. Um, so it's just been go, go, go with so many things recently. So recently I've been using my blush as eyeshadow because I feel like it complements the color of the blush really well. And I like the orangey pink color. <laughs> Eyeshadow is all done. Now for eyeliner. I think that's all blended. God knows I'm gonna look back on this when I'm editing it. I'm gonna see like a smear of foundation somewhere on my face. I've been looking forward to today all week. My plan is to go to the bookstore. I'm hoping to get a book which is called Cold Enough for Snow by Jessica Ow. I'm pretty sure it won the Victorian Premier's Literary Prize. I think it won the Novel Prize last year about a mother and a daughter who meet up in Tokyo and it's about their relationship and the book is really short but it blew a lot of people out of the water and received a lot of awards and so I'm excited to read that book. It's been on my list for ages but I haven't gotten to it yet so I'm hoping to find that today. Basically today Today we're going to be doing a whole bunch of my favorite things to do in Adelaide. So bookstore, museum, tea shop, maybe pop to the botanic gardens. We'll see how we go. My makeup is all done. I just have to grab my bag. Hear me? Okay, there's a lot of birds 
out and there's quite a few children. Curiosities, the tea shop. It was lovely. I had the gluten-free scones and I had some um, Sencha tea, I believe, and it was just a lovely vibe. So I can show you the books that I got today. I ended up getting Cold Enough to Snow, which is the book that I intended to get. I was very happy that I found it. This isn't my favorite cover of the book, but this is the Australian edition. So obviously this is the one I could get from Dimmicks. 98 pages, so very short. And then I picked up this book, which I started reading in Curiosities. I read like the first 40-ish pages or something. My bookmark's fallen out, so I'm gonna have to find my spot again. This is A Master of Gin by P. Gilly Clark. And this is a story which I remember, I put this on my old TBR. Essentially, I had a TBR of like over a hundred books and it made me feel really overwhelmed. So I just started a new spreadsheet and started completely from scratch. I remember that this one was on my old spreadsheet and I couldn't quite remember what it was about, um, except for the fact that it's set in Cairo in 1912. I love fantasy stories set around this time, like early 20th century. I ended up coming here on a day where there is apparently a um, dinosaur festival on, which I love, because I love I love dinosaurs. There's a lot of children around at the moment. You can just see many pairs of tiny shoes walking past, but they're not coming in here, so I think we're safe. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. So essentially, I can't remember what I was saying before, but I have read the first little bit of this book and I like the voice so far. This is it in terms of books I can pick up and read before we go to Japan really soon, because right after we get home from Japan, actually, I don't think I've mentioned this news here yet, but it, it's now been officially announced, so I can actually say this. I'm going to be attending Bellingen Writers Festival. I got reached out to a few months ago by the director of the festival who asked me if I'd be interested in being an interviewer and I or oh, I think I yelled a little bit when I got that email. It was so exciting, but I'm essentially gonna be involved with three different events at Bellingen. So I believe it's pronounced Bellingen. It could be Bellingen. I don't know. I've not been there before. It's in New South Wales. It's near Coffs Harbour. So it's quite a bit north from Sydney and they have this lovely rural writers festival and they asked me to be a part of it. So I'm like flying over there. It's like a, it's a real proper thing. I'm being paid to go to this thing. So I, this is like a really big moment for me and I'm really excited and I'm so happy about it. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in New South Wales and you're in the area, maybe you're in Southern Queensland and you would enjoy going to a lovely writers festival, I do recommend going to Bellingen. I can link the page with the events I'm involved in in the description down below. One of the authors I'm interviewing is actually Pip Williams who wrote The Dictionary of Lost Words, which is a very, very popular book. I think that one actually is not an interview, but more of like a chat and discussion. But that's the reason why these are the last two books I'm gonna be reading before I get to the books that are gonna be relevant to these talks, because obviously I want to go in to these interviews slash talks very prepared and very knowledgeable about the author's work because some of the authors I'm chatting to I haven't read their work before. Lots and lots of exciting things. It's been a wonderful year so far in terms of like career stuff for me like everything's really exciting and, and things are going really well. It's just that the last last like month and a half has been like super duper busy so I'm really happy that at least <laughs> today I'm slowing down. I'm gonna go to the museum. I think I still want to wander around the museum and go see the ocean room but it, that's that's the main draw card for me with the South Australian Museum. It's not a huge museum, but I do really appreciate that it's it's a museum that is free to enter. Like it's a really lovely thing that we have here, at least in Adelaide. Our art gallery and our museum are both free, um, so they're accessible to everyone, which is a beautiful thing. Hello, voice over Christy popping in to thank the wonderful sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is a website builder which allows people to create dynamic, interesting, and beautiful websites with ease. Squarespace is the platform that I use to make my own website. There are so many templates to choose from and it was incredibly quick to set up and get it looking exactly how I wanted. Squarespace has a boatload of benefits from powerful blogging tools to in-depth analytics features which make it easy to show off the things that you make and to connect with the people who are visiting your site. If you're looking to make a website, head to Squarespace com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash christy and jones to save 10 percent off your purchase of a website or domain
a little bit later in the day. I had my lunch, I did some reading, I chilled out for a little bit, and now I'm gonna make some banana bread. I feel like the last time I made this <laughs> was the last time I vlogged making this. I love these little mixes because they're gluten-free and dairy-free. I am gluten avoidant. I still do eat gluten on occasion, although those scones today were gluten-free and they were really good and I did appreciate that. Alrighty. I completely forgot that it was school holidays this week. Being out of school, I'm so out of sync with when the school holidays are, which I think is why there were so many kids around. It was actually really lovely though seeing that many like kids and people in the museum because it was a lot busier than it normally is. We have our banana and it goes. I feel like it's taken me a long time to love living in Adelaide. Like I, I when I was a kid, I never wanted to live here. And then we went and lived in Japan and I loved it so much and I missed it so much when we came back that I didn't, I don't know, like I didn't, I didn't love being here, but now I, I'm really starting to appreciate it. It's a, it's a smaller, sleepier part of the world, but it is a really beautiful place to live. So I feel very lucky. Okay, that is all set. We now have Nana bread baking. I'm gonna go probably read for the next 45 minutes until this is ready. I have actually started this quite late. Um, we are meeting a friend for dinner tonight, so this should be fine to be done before then. I am so excited for this trip to Japan. So as I said, it's a work trip. We're going to be going on the Trova trip. So you guys might remember me talking about this trip, but essentially it's gonna be me and Tyler and a bunch of other lovely people going to Tokyo, Kyoto and Osaka for about a week. And then after that, I have some other work related stuff to be doing. I think by the time you guys are watching this video, we'll still be in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think coming out of this, as I mentioned, like kind of busy period with work and getting draft three Done and, and then also bulk making all of my Patreon content because in addition to uploading videos here on YouTube, I also upload videos on Patreon. And so it, it's kind of like my workload doubled for the space of a month. It's all, we're all good now, like everything's done. But yeah, we're getting to the point where travel is becoming more and more consistent for us, which is like dream come true. It's really exciting. And so I'm gonna have to eventually find a way to get a laptop and bring it overseas with us. Cause right now I don't have a laptop, so I can't edit overseas, which is most of the reason why I need to do everything before we go so that's like a logistical thing we'll probably need to organize eventually but there's so many exciting things going on with the trip to Japan and then going off to Belgian Writers Festival um, so yeah just like lots and lots of really cool things and I feel very very grateful at the moment and very happy and just yeah super excited right now though in a more short-term context very excited for this banana bread. I'm gonna stop standing next to this oven now because it's very warm here, but um, let's go do some reading for a bit and then have a little bit of banana bread before going off to dinner. <laughs> because of the fan in this bathroom, but here we are. It's time for me to take my makeup off. Every single time one of our neighbors shuts their door, it sounds like our door is opening and it gives me the worst anxiety. The sound is identical. So my friend for Christmas actually made me this like amazing gift. And it's these little wristbands that you put around your wrist. So when you wash your face, the water droplets don't like run down your arms. I hate the feeling of washing my face and having like water droplets run down my arms, especially if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. So these are just brilliant. She hand sewed them, it's such a lovely, like thoughtful gift. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my face now. And then cleanser. I've been getting really annoying acne recently. It's not that bad, but it's just sort of like reoccurring pimples like around my chin and my nose. And it's been really bad. Like I think this is like the worst, <laughs> the worst acne I've ever had. It's been really frustrating. It's been essentially the last two months that it's been really bad. And it's only the last week or so that it started clearing up a bit. Like my skin looks a bit better. There's still a bit of a mark there, but aside from that, my skin is looking a bit better. I don't think it's my diet because what I eat is pretty consistent. And also I don't want to have to eat in a restrictive way. I don't want to have to cut out sugar or anything. I don't eat very much sugar, but the sugar I do eat, I very much enjoy, so I'd like to keep it. Although maybe, maybe my skin was worse because it was Easter and I was eating a lot of chocolate every day for like two weeks. That maybe could have exacerbated the problem. 
Anyway, the point is my skin is finally starting to look better after roughly two months of it being pimply and frustrating basically every day. That is my three step skincare routine all done. I'm considering re-watching Crash Landing on You. I haven't watched a K-drama in a really long time and the reason is that when I start watching a K-drama I get really really into them and I they're very addictive and so I've been really careful the last few months to like not get super duper engrossed in anything in particular because I had a lot of stuff to get done now that all of my work stuff has calmed down and I've got better balance again I can start rewatching something Crash Landing on You is brilliant it's my favorite k-drama I've watched so far I love it to bits so maybe I'll watch an episode of that I hope you guys enjoyed this very chill day of my life vlog. I'll let you know what I think of Cold Enough for Snow and The Master of Gin when I've actually finished reading those books. Like I don't wanna give my opinions too early before I've actually read enough of them to give a proper opinion. So I'm sure I'll share that at some point. It was a really lovely day. So I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. And also an enormous thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel. Over on Patreon, we have a whole bunch of lovely bonus content, bonus videos, our book club, our discord server, so many things over there. So if you want to check out Patreon, if you want more content from me, or if you just want to support my channel, please feel free to check that out. There is a link in the description down below. Take care everyone and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.